Working with layers is a topic that confuses many of my students. So I'm going to give you the most basic, simple usage that I can. From the Layers palette, which can be found under Window, Layers, when you open up an image, by default, it opens it up as a background. It simply is what it is, the picture that was taken. There's nothing special about it. If I was to take my paintbrush and then begin painting on this image, I am simply damaging the image. Right now, I have that black line scribbled across the front of it, and it is what it is. Generally speaking, there isn't too much I can do about it. However, I'm going to undo this. And instead of painting directly on the background, I'm going to paint on a layer. Down here below the Layers palette is a button that says Create New Layer. When I click on that, notice it creates a layer on top of the background layer. So right now, with this selected, I can come over here and do the exact same scribbling. However, I can hide the background, and you can see that the scribble is all by itself. Once again, I can turn it back on by clicking this icon of an eye, and I can turn off the top one, which has the squiggle on it, and notice that the squiggle is gone. We have the original image underneath. This is referred to as non-destructive editing. So simply, I've made the change on the top layer. Now notice we have a checker pattern behind it. The checker pattern is infinity, it's nothingness. So it means that we have this black shape on top of nothing until I actually click on the background, and then we have the shape over the background. Okay? It also means that I can take this Move tool, and I can move with this top layer selected, and I can move it over here, I can move it over here, I can do this, I can do whatever I want with it. Once this element is an individual layer, I really can do whatever I want to it. I can do many different things. I can even go so far as to take the eraser and cut right through that black line. Once again, non-destructive editing, really awesome to use. If you no longer want this layer, you can click on the layer and drag it down into this trash can. And now it's thrown away. So if I were to create a new layer by clicking Create New Layer icon, I can double click on the layer that says Layer 1. I'm simply clicking on the name and then clicking on the name very quickly, and then it's going to allow me to rename it. So I'm going to rename this Red. And I'm going to take my color picker, and I'm going to choose Red and go OK. And then I'm going to choose my paintbrush, and I'm going to paint with Red. I'm going to create another new layer, and I'm going to change this to blue. I'm going to click the color picker again, this time pick blue, go OK, and then I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So now because each one is on an individual layer, I can turn off the background, and then we can see the blue on top of the red. I can turn off the blue, and we see all of the red, or I can turn on the blue and turn off the red, or I can turn on the background, turn on the red, turn off the blue, turn off the red, or I can take them both and throw them in the trash. And then we are back to the original image the way that it was. You don't need to make more complication out of the layers palette than it really is. Yes, there are other options up here. Yes, there's other things that we can click on and point and click and whatever, but don't make it hard. All you're simply doing is creating a new layer, you can double click and name it if you want. Select one of the appropriate tools and simply do what you need to do. In a future video, I will be talking about how to clone on a separate layer. This way, any changes that we make to the document are completely separate from the original image.